The last option we have in our rasterization list of options is the Micromask raster and it goes under the name Use Micromask. The Micromask raster is similar to the previous two raster options in that it places holes in the image, but this raster option is not suitable for photographs or images with gradients or shading. The Micromask raster can be used on both light and dark colored garments and is best used for vector graphics, logos and large areas of toner without gradients or shading. To add a Micromask raster to our image, we first need to click on the Micromask raster in the drop down menu. We are presented with almost the same options as the previous raster settings, but with two changes. The first change is that the shadow tolerance setting has been deactivated. This is because we are not removing or controlling the shadows and gradients in the image. We are simply placing an even amount of dots on the image. The second change is that the Micromask Percentage drop-down menu has been activated. The Micromask Percentage defines how much of the image is removed. The higher the Micromask Percentage, the more the image is removed, which saves you toner and provides a softer touch to the design. For this image we will choose 20%. After we have customized our Micromask raster, the next thing we need to do is preview the Micromask raster to see how it looks on our image. To do this, we simply click on the preview button at the bottom of the window. The preview window has several options available. Any changes made in this window will not affect the image, as this is only the preview mode. The main option we have here is the zoom tool. This allows you to take a closer look at the image and raster effect. The second most important option is the All Separations Black tool. This option removes the colour from the image, replacing them with black. This is a helpful tool for taking a closer look at the raster option and how it looks on our image. The Pixel Smoothing tool simply smooths the pixels in the preview window. The last option is the Colour Selection Preview. You can preview each individual colour which will be printed with your image. For example, cyan, magenta, yellow or white. Remember, when viewing the white, you will need to use the All Separations Black option as the preview window displays your image on a white background. And we cannot see white on a white background. Close the window to return to the rasterization options. This concludes our transfer rip video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned a lot. Have fun using the transfer rip and experiment with those raster options to find your favourite setting. And once you find them, don't forget to save them. If you still have some questions, remember you can watch this video as many times as you like. To find more tutorials and stay up to date with all the latest tips and tricks, not only for the transfer rib, but for the whole white toner no cut system, then please visit our white toner transfer website. Thank you for watching.